Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this Sephora haul. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I shopped the promo where if you spend $50, I think it was sometime in February, you get 15% off your purchase. I think it was like March 4th to March something. I'm not sure. I'll put the details below. Usually I forget that I even did that and I miss out on the promo, but this time I remembered. So let's go ahead and talk about a few of the staples that I stocked up on. So I use this brow product. I think it's Grande Brow. Someone let me know. I think I called it Grand Brow. So Grande Brow is a wonderful product. I wasn't quite sure about it. I had gotten a sample many months ago and I was using it and I thought, I think I see some progress. So I since invested in the full size, which is about out. So I knew I needed a new one. And if you noticed, my brows have filled in quite nicely. I used to use the Wonder Brow every single day and now I just have a pencil and gel sometimes. So it's done a nice job of filling in here as well as I'm noticing I'm having to actually pluck hairs out of here, which I don't normally do and they're quite long. I just brush it on like this in the evenings and I do that every night. So if you were curious, I have had success with this. It is difficult to tell with things like this, like lash products and brow products, but from my experience, I have seen results. So it does take a while though, and that's the only thing. You just have to see and stick with it and be really good about applying it as frequently as they say. I think that's why I'm seeing results, but I'm really happy with my eyebrows these days. So thanks to this product. Next, I picked up this IGK Beach Club let's see, volumi volumizing texture spray. And I've had questions about my hair, if I could share how I style it. And texturizing spray is one of the things that I use to help get a little bit more volume. I think the cut has a lot to do with it. I do spray this in at the crown here and that's before I blow dry it. And so when I go in with a round brush, I use heat and then I'll go in with a cool shot and then kind of just get everything in place. And that's why there's a little bit more volume here because my hair is really hard to style up here. So volumizing spray works. And I've been happy with this one. It's not sticky. I think some of the texturizing sprays can have a stickiness about them. This doesn't have that. And then we've got this, something I've purchased over and over again, Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. This is one of those products that the first time I tried it because I think I got it in a set of something because there was something else I wanted, but I did notice that there was a nice chemical exfoliation with this. So it's very gentle depending on your skin type because I think it says all skin types except sensitive. So if you want something that's an exfoliant but not physically abrasive on your skin, you can try something like this, but just be careful. Make sure you know your skin type. But for me, it works really well. So that is part of my routine. I might not use it every day. I'm going to say maybe four times a week or so I will use that. And then we've got this dry clean, quick clean, instant brush cleaner spray. So I use this especially for videos and I have brushes that are very light colored so you can see when there's pigment in there. So especially for videos, I know I'm not mixing the colors and I'm seeing their true color. And what I like about this is that it's so quick and you can use your brush right away. So I don't know, I'm sure there are other instant brush cleaners, but this one's the one I've had luck with. So I'm gonna stick with this for now. I just spray it on your brush and then use a washcloth or some kind of fabric and then it removes the pigment and the brush is ready to go. So there's no downtime in between the cleaning. So this is very much a lifesaver, especially when filming videos because I don't have a lot of brushes and the brushes I like are the ones that I use. I don't stray too far from the ones that I love. So that again, has come in so handy. I think it's the third one I've purchased so far. And then on to the fun items, I got a lot of Westman Atelier. So I wasn't sure how I felt about Westman Atelier being carried on Sephora, but then I remembered Sephora has promos. So if there's a way we can get that on a promo, that's great. So I picked up as much as I could of what I wanted to try. There were a couple of things that were out though. So starting with this, foundation. I've had so many questions about this versus the Merit stick. So I picked mine up in the shade five and <laughs> I thought I was just guessing. Well, not guessing, but I really wasn't sure. I tried to use a shade matcher on Sephora, but it didn't work. So let me know if it worked for you. It just 
blank every time I tried it. Um, so I looked at comparisons and that's what I tried to do. I look for the arm that's like the second deepest arm and then I look and I try and compare, is there a lot of warmth? Is it too cool? Because I know I can't go too cool, but if there's peach, I'm interested in it too. So <laughs> that's kind of how I narrow it down if there's no good shade matching kind of program. So this is the shade five and I'll do a close up swatch, but I also want to show you it swatched next to the Merit. Of course, we'll do some nice in-depth comparisons when I do the video on the Westman Atelier. But just in case you were wondering, this is Atelier 5 next to Suede. So if you are Suede, it's very close. There's less peach and it's a little bit less deep. We might do a side by side. I'm not quite sure how to do this video yet. Let me know how you want to see this. If you just want to see it by itself and not with this, let me know. But I was excited when I opened it and noticed that it looked like it actually might work. Then I picked up the Face Trace Contour Stick in Truffle. And you know, I picked up um, Biscuit and it was just like, I think it was too cool and too light. So it came across as almost gray toned on me. So I was happy to see that this looks like it's a more chocolatey kind of, I mean, I guess it's called truffle, right? But it's more like a chocolatey kind of rich color. So let me do this for you. And I can also swatch them next to each other. I'll do that now, but also on my face, that might be interesting. So we have biscuit here and truffle. So you can see they are very different shades. Oh, the magnets are pushing against each other. So here's biscuit, here's truffle. So I really think truffle is gonna be much better for me. So I'm excited to give that a try as well. And then I purchased something based on your recommendation. So many of you recommended this to me. It is the highlighter, the super loaded tinted highlight in Podepeche. And at first when I opened it, I thought this doesn't look like peachy at all. It looks like a, like a dusty rose almost. But then I swatched it and I thought, okay, this is gorgeous. And I love the texture. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, the price point is quite high, I think, on this for what it is. So I'm expecting really amazing things for this. Thank you so much for the recommendation because I cannot wait to try that one on. It just looks so beautiful. Then I picked up the iPods. These were something that I wasn't I don't know, excited about because the shades looked like things that I'd already seen. They looked like they'd be super pigmented, but then I was so pleasantly surprised when I swatched them. So let me just talk about the shades though. We have Neige here, which is a beautiful whitish shade, which I didn't think would be something I would wear, but when I swatched it, it is quite sheer. So I can see it looking really natural really pretty on the eyes and not so much white, but a little bit more translucent. Also there's Chocolat, which is this deep brown. And I thought it was going to be like a very dark brown, but again, nice and sheer. So excited to give this one a go as well. I just was so happy with all of the Westman Atelier that I picked up. And then we've got the shade Tabac, which is I think my favorite shade out of those. It's like a warm coppery brownish shade. You know, everything that I love <laughs> is in the shade. So let me know the best way though to use these eyeshadows because I figured out with the blush, oh yeah, that's another thing. I wanted to pick up the blush, the new one, but that was out of stock but I do have the one Chouchette on right now, this one. I have this on and I, the only thing about these is that I forget to wind them down and then I just put the lid on and the lid is so close to the top, well you can see here, that if you don't wind it all the way down, you're gonna end up with this, but it's fine because I just go in with a brush anyway and that's what I have on today. I did wanna pick up that blush Again, out of stock, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out for that. I also wanted to pick up the new highlighter because I have the other one, the original one, which I don't know where it is, somewhere, but it's like that unicorn kind of glow on me. It's a little too cool. So I was really interested in that middle shade. I can't remember the name, but that was out of stock as well, but I had intended on picking that one up too. So next time I do want to pick up the blush in the highlighter, but I think I have enough right now to try out. Let me know how you want to see all of this Westman Atelier, especially knowing I have other things to compare them with. I'll be happy to do that when I put that video together. Let me know if you shopped the Sephora sale, what you got. I feel like 
I've looked on their site so many times and there really isn't that much that interests me. I looked at some of the YSL lip products and most of the other luxury brands that they carry, I feel like I've tried most of what I've wanted to try. Let me know what I've missed. I'll keep my eye out for the next promo and make sure I pick it up the next time. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.